like decent records. Dr. Solomon Olakunle Atanda, transformational healthcare leader, best-selling author, medical innovator. Dr. Solomon Atanda, MBCHB, is a visionary healthcare expert with over 10 years of experience in driving medical excellence, operational efficiency, and patient-centric care. Expertise, medical operations management, strategic leadership, quality improvement, patient safety, healthcare innovation, medical education, digital health, holistic wellness, nutrition and fitness. Publications, author, Prime Year's ebook series, Navigating Health Through Life Stages, author of three best-selling books, including a renowned academic book certifications, certified HMO professional, CHP, project management professional, PMP, extra valued certified professional, ECP, NHCPS, ACLS Certification, Certified Quality Service Provider, Basic Surgical Skills Acquisition, Certificate in Data Processing, Project Management Leadership Training, Certificate of Volunteerism, Pro Health International Africa, Certificate in Emergency and Disaster Response, Certificate in Disaster Risk Reduction, Introduction to Monitoring and Evaluation, Certificate in International Volunteering, Digital Communication and Team Management, Introduction to International Conflict Resolution, Leadership and Management in Health, Washington University. Affiliations, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, MDCN, Nigeria Medical Association, NMA, Lagos State Chapter, Association of Rural Surgical Practitioners of Nigeria, ARSPON, Oyo State Chapter, Medical Guild, Lagos State Chapter Achievements, MD CEO, Heladam Hospital Limited, Chief Coordinator and Strategist, Gilead Balm Healthcare, Coordinator, Nigeria, Indian Medical Tourism Programs, Skilled Content Writer, Copywriter, Graphic Designer, and Online Digital Expert. Passion, Dr. Atanda is dedicated to revolutionizing healthcare through innovative solutions, strategic leadership, and compassionate care. He empowers healthcare professionals, inspires patients, and fosters collaborative excellence. Hello, and once again, welcome to Path to Wellness. I'm Nancy Oblete, your host. Remember that this program is brought to you by Bridge Africa Magazine and Panacea Ville International. Usually on Path to Wellness, we have a guest who we interview on issues that relate to health. They share with us from their experience, their professional experience and even personal life, what wellness is and how to improve our health so that we learn from them and we live a healthy life. You know, as they say, health is wealth. No matter how much you have, if you are not healthy, you will not have the ability to enjoy the goodies that life has given you. So health is wealth, and that's why we do Path to Wellness. Today, we have a very special guest on the program, and his name is Dr. Solomon Olakunde Atonda. Please help me welcome Dr. to Path to Wellness. Welcome, sir. Wow. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nancy. I'm glad to be with you today. And uh, I want to assure our interview, uh, our viewers that uh, today they are going to gain one or two things in order to improve on their wellness and uh, to improve their health. Thank you very much for welcoming me. Uh, I'm Dr. Solomon Nolakuli Atonda, as you, you have said. I'm a seasoned general practitioner with a passion for transformative health and um, healthcare leadership and the multi faceted healthcare experts. And I'm also um, a best-selling author of, of a book uh, I've, I've, I've authored many books now, and um, uh, I'm going to say one or two things about it today, too. 
And uh, with my unique blend of clinical expertise and uh, leadership acumen and commitment to wellness, I'm excited to explore how my skills can contribute to the organization, uh, Bridge Africa magazines, and our viewers as a whole in order to improve their health and wellness. Thank you very much for having me, Mrs. Nancy. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So can you tell us a bit about your journey, how you got into wellness? I know you 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 studied medicine, but, but how did this, because from what you have said, it looks more like a passion, like something that you have devoted your life to doing. So can you share your story, how you got here? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for over a decade now, over 10 years ago, I've been practicing medicine and then with my uh, vision and interaction with patients. Uh, we, we noticed that, uh, you know, as you, as you mentioned in your introduction, health is wealth. Most of them that come to the hospital for, for uh, treatment or so, we, we believe that if they have maintained their health at the beginning, you understand that they wouldn't have de de deteriorated to that ex uh, extent. And that's the reason mm -hmm. I'm just passionate to, 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 to see them that they, they, are, they are well and doing in their health. So when I see those things, you know, I begin to, uh, uh, to, to dive into the wellness, especially how can they have prevent, we call it preventive medicine actually. How can they mm -hmm. prevent those things, prevent those uh, illness from getting uh, worse to that extent? And that is why I dive into wellness, into health, into nutrition and everything, so that by the time they are doing that, they will be able to, you know, to have a good health. And by the grace of God, in the past 10 years or so, I've seen a quite number of results as a result of that. And the patients have been coming, uh, having good testimony about that, you know, the, 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 the kind of sickness they are coming with has reduced drastically. And by the grace of God, they are doing well today. So that's been my, 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 my story. BAM and Mike Dibson Records, special announcement. Get ready to witness the birth of a new era in the African entertainment scene. Introducing Bridger Freak Media and Mike Dibson Records exclusive talent showcase, Talent Display 2024. Every Saturday, we're taking over TikTok to bring you a platform where upcoming and professional artists can showcase their extraordinary talents to the world. That's not all. We've got mouth-watering cash prizes and an opportunity for you to shine in the limelight. First prize, 50,000 Naira. Second prize, 30,000 Naira. Third prize, 10,000 Naira. But wait, there's more. The top three performers will also get a free feature in the prestigious Bridger Freak magazine. Whether you're a singer, dancer, comedian, or any other performer, this is your chance to take the stage and leave a lasting impression on our audience. Don't miss out on this life-changing opportunity. Follow us on TikTok and mark your calendars for a weekly dose of entertainment like never before. Tag your friends, share the news, and get ready to be a part of the most talked about talent showcase in Africa. Wow, interesting. So from what you said, sir, you talked about nutrition, you talked about um, preventive medicine. Can you expand a bit on what these are? And how, as in, because some people feel like diseases, they are hereditary, some of them, and then some of them, there's nothing we can really do about it. But so as you mentioned nutrition, you mentioned prevention, how does this fit into most of the ailments that people suffer in our time? Very good. Thank you very much. You know, in, let me let me dive a little bit into medicine. You know, our body is made up of cells. Do you understand? Now? So we we started from cells. Cells form tissue. Tissue form the organs. Organ form the system of the body. Before you have the entire body. Do you understand? Now? So if we can build all these things well, then the if you build the cells well, then tissue will be fine. Anything that affects the tissue will affect the organs. Do you understand? Now? Any part of the systems, part of the organs of the system that is affected will affect the whole, the entire system. So that's the reason if you eat well, you are, in fact, let me start by saying this, you are what you eat. You are exactly mm. what you eat. If you feed well, then you will be fine. That, there's what we call balanced diet. Do you understand? Know if you eat balanced diet, then that is when you can have, you know, you, you, you can have good health. You can be free of most of these illnesses that people talk about. 
even if you don't eat well and they give you treatment sometimes, there's nothing that the body will make use of so that the system can absorb the kind of treatment they are giving you. you understand? So you need a good diet. You need a good, no, 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 you know, a kind of nutrients so that you can be able to build the cells of the body. So in when you eat good diets, that is when the preventive medicine comes in. Do you understand? So when you eat good diets, you prevent those kind of diseases that can come in through poor diet, poor nutrients in your body. And by the time you see you are you are getting those things correctly, then the kind of sickness that will come to you, you know, it be reduced drastically. Do you understand? So that is where I, I so much believe in preventive medicine. Do you understand? Because That's preventive true. is better and even cheaper than kill. Mm. Yes. So this is interesting because as you talk about this, I also have, have had the privilege of reading something you wrote and you were talking about stages of life and then food that go with stages. Can you delve a bit into this and uh, like kind of give us like a framework, something you usually recommend to your clients when it comes to diet preventive medicine as against the stages of life where you are your age and all all right thank you very much if you if you know what i have written down see that uh, this life is about stages and each stage has a specific nutrient needs do you understand for example now the kind of nutrient needs of a child is quite different from adults or uh, or adolescents and it's quite different from elderly people. For example, now I put it in stages. If you note very well, the, the, the stages that we have, that we have a childhood and adolescent. So that ranges from zero to 90. That specific need is quite different from when we have something like a 20 to 39. So we have 40 to 64 and above 64. Those are the stages of life. And each of those stages, they have their specific needs. So as we journey through life, you see that our bodies actually undergo significant changes. So understanding this is crucial for optimal health. Um, prime years guides you through a specific health concern and expert advice that I've put forth in those things that will actually help our viewers and our readers in order to build their health and increase their wellness. So that's what I've put down. Introducing Panacea Ville where love thrives and relationships flourish. Are you ready to embark on a journey of love and fulfillment? Our comprehensive programs are designed to help engaged and married couples build and maintain healthy relationships in their first decade. With our expert guidance, you'll learn the art of understanding and proper conflict management, creating emotional safety and deepening intimacy in your relationship. Join our group couple coaching, limited to five couples per group, where you'll learn practical conflict management tools and work through disagreements with ease. Discover the joy of a thriving relationship as you heal attachment injuries and enhance trust together. For couples at a crossroads, our intervention coaching program is the answer. We'll help you identify and tackle challenges at their roots, rekindling lost love, repairing past hurts, and creating a peaceful and stable future. Before you walk down the aisle, equip yourself with the knowledge for a successful marriage through our Before the Aisle course. Unlearn old patterns, develop practical money management skills, and foster an intimate, fulfilling bond. As a bonus, you'll be part of a supportive community with access to materials and continuous growth support. Choose Panacea Ville today and unlock the secrets to a happy and lasting relationship. Remember, a fulfilling marriage is within reach for those willing to unlearn, learn, and relearn. Greeting explorers of the African continent and lovers of adventure. Welcome to Bridge a Freak Media Drone Across Africa Channel your window to the vibrant cultures, stunning landscapes, and dynamic cities that make up this remarkable continent. Our mission is to take you on an exhilarating journey, country by country, city by city, capturing the heart and soul of Africa like never before. With our drones in the sky and our cameras in hand, we are committed to showcasing the beauty, diversity, and richness of Africa, one city at a time. 
From the bustling streets of Lagos to the majestic savannas of the Serengeti, we will bring you closer to the action, giving you a bird's eye view of the places and people that make each destination unique. So buckle up and get ready for a virtual adventure that will leave you inspired, informed, and in awe of the African continent. Subscribe now and join us as we bridge the gap between you and the African experience, one city at a time. Welcome to Bridge a Freak Media Drone Across Africa channel, where the spirit of exploration takes flight and the beauty of Africa comes to life. Yeah, so um, you, you just use a word that I'm interested in. You said prime health, right? So prime years, sorry. Prime, prime years. years yes. yes. Can you can you expand on prime years as a as against um health as we are talking? Yeah, thank you very much. Prime years, when we talk about prime, literally, prime is that that part of your life that you can do a specific thing that's uh like that like like you are you are at your peak. At each mm -hmm. So each stage has their own peak of life. That is what you need at time at that particular time. For example, let me let me if you if you if you permit me to quickly go through through those stages so that you know the specific yeah. needs of each stage. Okay, fine. For example, now if you talk about the stage of zero to nineteen, now I I put that one as the stage of childhood and adolescence. In those stages, if you allow us to think about it very well. All they need is nutrition. Their own nutrition at that stage is not to be able to go to somewhere to go and work or to go and do a specific thing. Their nutrition at that point is nutrition for growth. What they need at that point is to grow at that stage. Do you understand? So apart from the nutrition mm -hmm. for, for that age group, the, that is the age group we'll also be talking about immunization, vaccination. You know, I can't be talking about immunization for a 64 years old uh, man. Do you understand? So sure. each age group has their specific need. At that age group, age group zero to nineteen, also we'll be talking about their mental health. Talk about the mental health in school age group, and and so to so talk about the sports and the injury prevention at that stage, because that is the stage you'll be going to school, school age group, and and, and all sorts. The at that point, also we want to try as much as possible to build their healthy habits. At that age group, also this these are the group that you should catch them young. All this kind of mm. you know, bad habits, alcoholism, you know, smoking, and everything. It happens on those age groups. If so, if you can prevent those stages, those things from that those stages, they'll be able to what to build the wellness in the next group. What is the next group apart from that? We talk about group 20 to 39. That is the group we call the young adulthood. That is the age of what? Young adulthood. At that age, what are we talking about? We talk about what the stress management. They burn out. They are the one that will go to work. They are going to stress themselves. And so we want to talk about how can they prevent stress at that very particular point. How can they prevent the burnout at that particular point? These are also the stage, or this is the stage we talk about reproduction. I can't be talking about reproduction in fifteen year old boy or girl, but at that age group, age group of twenty to thirty nine, we can be talking about reproduction health, contraception, talk about the fertility and all sorts. Then. They also need nutrition at that age group. Their own nutrition is not for growth again because they are, they are grown up. Their own nutrition is for energy because they need energy to work, the energy to do their daily activities, energy to do their routine works. So they need those things at that age group. They also need exercise. Their own exercise is not for anything, but for clarity. They need to work to clear their minds, to be able to be in a very good uh, frame of mind to do their work. In order to be productive at that age, that is what they need. Also, we also talk about setting of boundaries. That is the age group of you no, know, is adolescent. They want to talk about you know, uh, you want to get married, you want to do this. They, they, they have a kind, a sort of disturbances. So we want to help them to be able to set boundaries and to prioritize their self care at that age group. When we leave that age group, we also go to the third group, which we call the midlife. Midlife group ranges from 40 to 64. Okay, I'm getting the point. So 40 to 64. At this age group also, we, they have their own specific needs. What are we going to be talking about? At that age, we'll be talking about, okay, menopause in women, 
We talk about adropos in, uh, in, in men. So we talk about those things. How can we manage it at that age group? How can we manage menopause at that age group? How can we manage andropause in men at that age group? How can we help them? At that age group also, we talk about their cardiovascular health. That's the age group. At that age, we also have a, 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 no, a lot of people coming down with the hypertension, diabetes, all sorts of chronic illnesses. So we talk about those stages as well at that age group. Do you understand now? So we also talk about cancer screening. The cancer patients, they are much at that age group. That's the age group they begin to, you know, to manifest the, the kind of symptoms that the cancer will have brought in their body. So at that age group, we talk about how can we screen cancer? How can you prevent cancer? How can you deal with the management of cancer? How can you those are the things that we talk about at that age group? So we also talk about how can you manage chronic conditions? You know, we talk about diabetes, we talk about hypertension, we talk about asthma, we talk about arthritis. Those are the chronic conditions that of course are that age group. Do you understand? Now? Then apart from all those ones, at that age group, we want to ensure that they are active. They want to ensure that they, mm -hmm. they stay active and mobile because that is their mobility is very important at that age group. And that is also the age group we prepare for old age. But once you are 65 plus, you know, age, old age begins to set in. So that is another age group entirely. We call it the senior years. You understand that? The senior years. That is the age, the adult age. So at that age group also, age group of 64 or 65 and above, they also have their own specific health needs. What are we going to be talking about? I won't be talking about reproduction in this age group. So we now begin to talk about healthy aging strategies. How can they age gracefully? How can they be happy in their old age? How can they get old and yet they are happy? They are healthy. Those are the things that we now begin to talk about at that age group. We begin to talk about their cognitive functions and brain health because different kinds of health issues happen at that age group. We talk about maybe the Alzheimer's disease. We talk about the, you know, the age group, the, accident, the sedated, uh, sedative stage and everything. So we begin to talk about how can they improve their cognitive stage. We talk about fall prevention. Most of them, they are old. They have different kind of a sight issues. Some of them have cataracts, some of them have glaucoma. You know, they fall. Yeah, I've seen a patient just because of cataracts. She couldn't see well and she fell, she broke her leg. No, unfortunately, yeah. they went to, yes, they broke because she couldn't see. So these are the age group, they have a lot of issues. So she couldn't see, they broke their leg. Unfortunately, the family members took them to all these uh, trad medical. So they, 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 they mismanaged the, 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 the fracture and the, the, the sepsis entered. That's what killed the woman eventually. You understand? So the age group, we need to tell them what they, they expect, what they need to know. They need to be in good health at that point. So we talk about fall prevention. How can they prevent fall at that point? How can they help in their mobility? How can they help in their good health? So we also manage chronic pain for them. How can they manage? Because at this stage, all those uh, stages, in the previous stage I mentioned arthritis as part of the chronic illnesses, they have a lot mm -hmm. of pains. So how can they manage these chronic pains? We talk about this in this age group. So how can they also have a social connection? Because they live sedentary lifestyle at this age so much. Their children can just abandon them, you know, they, they, they just live alone in different kinds of places. So we also manage this one. We also talk about this, how we can help them and all sorts. So those are the things. How can they improve on their mental health? Those are the things that are very important. And in my book, Prime Age, I stage this group. Johnson, I put them in volumes specifically for each group. And that's when I put this prime health, want to navigate health through life stages. Mm -hmm. So each of these stages has specific health needs. How can we help people? How can we promote their health? How can we prevent some certain diseases in their body? So those are the things that we make mention in the prime years. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. This is so interesting. You know, as you were talking, I, I was thinking because you mentioned exercise for a lot of these groups. And so I'm wondering, what do you, what's the scientific um, basis for exercising and how would you ex uh, recommend exercise for the different um, prime ages that you have mentioned? Well, thank you very much. Uh, when we talk about um, exercise, it's, it's like talking about fitness. Exercise is synonymous to fitness. 
So you mentioned how with exercise help. Of course, when you exercise, it will increase circulation. Do you understand? Because exercise will help you to be able to maintain your circulation, to be able to maintain your, your, your specific, specific health needs at that point. So exercise will also help in joints. So I mentioned a kind of joint pain and everything. It's like, it's, it's like doing physiotherapy. I don't know if you if you mm. if I had physiotherapy. Mm. Physiotherapy is mm. it's more or less like exercise. You understand? Know so because most people will not do exercise, and that's the reason they go to gym. So gym a gym uh, facility or is, is a form of exercise too. So, you know, so they do it because they know those things will help in the joint process. So it will help your joints, it will help your muscle, it will help the circulation, help every part of the body, cells to grow well, to build your muscles and all sorts. So exercise is very important. Fitness is very important in building health. A, a, a person that is not exercising the body well, he will just be living a kind of sedentary lifestyle, like I mentioned in the, in the old age uh, group. So it's very important for us to do exercise and to also promote exercise because it actually helps in developing and building health stats. Thank you. Okay, so when you talk about exercise, what would you recommend for an elderly citizen in terms of exercise? Because at this age, they are not as strong as they used to be. So what kind of exercises would best suit them? Well, a, a, a lot of exercise out there that they can do. Do you understand that? Uh, but we, we all always advocate uh, a movement, just move, move. Now, when we talk about movement, it is not until you do rigorous exercise or you are running like a... a uh, adolescent group uh, stage, you understand? So you can move around your compound. You so we advocate, like I tell them, you know, in, even in your environment, in your compound, you can move around at a specific time. Maybe you can want to move around your, your building like five times or, or three times in the day, come back again, relax, you know, so exercise. They can also do cycling, cycling. There are some things that they can do that will make their body to move all around. You understand? I can't be asking them to be doing yoga in, in, in terms of a, a a young adulthood. But there are some little mm. things that they can do at home. Movement, can do cycling. Some of them, they are good at swimming and all this kind of stuff. That everything that will make their body to be stretched so that they will not live a sedentary lifestyle. So those are the things that we recommend. They read more about this in my book. I put most of these things, they are there. If they can have you know, access to it and undo it, then they are going to learn a lot from it. Put your hands up in the air. Welcome to Evergreen Song Collaborations, the ultimate music destination where borders fade away and the love for music brings artists from across the globe together. Our mission is to celebrate the universal language of music by blending diverse cultures, styles, and genres into a symphony of evergreen collaborations. From the soulful melodies of African acoustics, to the energetic beats of Chinese pop, we are dedicated to creating a platform that showcases the world's rich musical tapestry. Our channel is a melting pot of talented artists who are ready to share their passion, stories, and unique sounds with you. So get ready to embark on a musical journey like no other. Subscribe now and join us as we celebrate the power of music to unite, inspire, and create unforgettable evergreen song collaborations. Welcome to Evergreen Song Collaborations, where music knows no boundaries and the rhythm of unity beats on. Signed by ESC Team. Thank you. Yeah, that's interesting. I think before we end the uh, program, I would be asking for details on how to get the book so that our viewer can um, get it if they need it. Now, uh, you were talking about anxiety and stress. As you talked about, I think the is the age group from 40 to 65. Please, can you portray how anxiety and stress um, can be managed, what we can do so that we don't begin to fall ill because of anxiety or stress? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you see that anxiety and stress always occur in a group of uh, 20 to 39, as I mentioned. So in my uh, book, I actually incorporate uh, evidence-based technique. 
in my yes in my book i evidence based techniques are there if you, if you get there something like uh you know mindfulness meditation like when we talk about mindfulness meditation you can you can meditate on your own just like in those days we have to just go to a very quiet place you know think on your own be intentional be intentional in these things some of them will just be thinking what are they thinking about how do how to make money how to do, to bank into online space how to make money to make millions of money. so just i don't think it's not healthy for the body fine money is fine i need money everybody needs money but if you not begin to think about those things too much it will affect you so we talk about things that will help you you know to help you so we talk about mindfulness meditation we talk about deep breathing i remember those sit down and you can just okay breathe in so those are the kind of things that we do in those days but we notice that those things are no more there so if you have a deep breathing it also helps you try it try it it's very important it's very good for good health you understand so i also talk about cognitive reframing so in cognitive reframing you begin to you read it's better it's, it's good to read so you read more you increase your mind you know you give you, you feed your mind what you feed your mind is what we produce so even the our action and reaction is from the meditation of our heart is what you are thinking most time that you bring out and what you don't take in you can't give it out so by the time you do all this cognitive meditation deep breathing talk about cognitive reframing and also those are the things so these methods are highly effective in reducing stress and are accessible even with a with your busy schedule with your, all these busy schedules you can mm -hmm. actually help to do those things I also advise readers to integrate these techniques seamlessly into their daily routines. So whether you are through brief morning meditations or mini mental results and the reset throughout the day, you have to maintain balanced mindset in a fast paced world. So those are the things that we do. A lot of things that we put forth in the book because it's, a, a, it's, it's actually a kind of a, you know expert advice that we put there. It's not just ordinary book. That you see outside there, it's not just ordinary book. Mm -hmm. So if you get it, you will understand what I'm saying better. Thank you very much. Wow, interesting. This is so interesting. As you're talking about mindfulness, I'm wondering, especially for us who are within the age group where we are still very mm -hmm. active with life at all, what strategies would you recommend for us that will help us incorporate this? Because sometimes we feel like time is not enough. How can we sit quiet for a stretch, you know, and all? But how do we, how do you recommend that we, we bring this into our life experience? It's very simple, uh, Madam Nancy. It's very simple. But most of, most of us, we think about our stress. Like, let, 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 let me check in something. They believe that doctors are always busy, that they don't even have time for their life. Or their, I'm, I'm here talking to you now. Do you understand? No matter mm. how busy you can be, if you are intentional and you are mindful of your health, there's no how. You will not create time. No matter how busy you can be, you will still create time for building the health, building the wellness. Like you mentioned, how can you build it? In fact, if you are able, as you are sitting down there, you can be thinking about, well, how can I... How can I build my health? I cannot do this. Look, you have a kind of mindfulness that you want to build your health. So when you are thinking about those things, you won't be thinking about the negative aspects. You understand? Know, because mm -hmm. the way you think mm -hmm. is very important. Some people will be thinking, they, uh, they say that when they say somebody, somebody has attention, they say, ah, and I'm not thinking, you know, it is not that kind of thinking we are talking about. It's not thinking that we can cause attention in the first instance. But there are some things that you have done Consciously or unconsciously, that is affecting your health unknowingly. <laughs> you can mm -hmm. point out. So, by even knowing mm -hmm. in your car, in the bus, when you are walking on the street, when you are walking on the road, you can be thinking of those things, those things that will be beneficial to your health, those things that can help you. Maybe you have read, that's why I say that reading is also very important. Maybe you have read something about good things. Don't read bad things, read good things. Those things that will be, mm -hmm. that, those are the things that you'll be using to think. I, I, cannot, I cannot incorporate those things I've read in that book. How can I use it to, to build my health? How can I use it to improve on my, you know, on my vitality? Those are the things that you do to improve on your health. It's not, it doesn't take time. It does, it's not that you're going to create five hours and not be thinking for five hours. No. But you can do that. You can incorporate it even in your basic schedule. So that's how you can do it. Wow, interesting. So I, I wanted to ask you this question. Like as a professional who works with people regularly to help them build health, what are the 
um, most challenges you found, the challenges that you found that has that has inhibited people from experiencing this optimal health? Well, most challenges, I would say, is very simple. And it is when people don't follow instructions. Do you understand? People don't follow instructions. For example, now, somebody that is diabetes, you tell the person, eat this, uh, do this, don't do that, use your medication. So then they will come to you. When that do you take your medication? Ah, I forgot, doctor. I forgot to take my medication yesterday. No, those of them, they don't follow instructions. So you understand? So in, to, to maintain it is very simple. It's very straightforward. Once you follow the instructions, so instruction will lead to results. Uh, like the Yoruba will say, do it as they are doing it so that it will be as it is. Just uh, if you don't follow it as the person have told you to follow it, you will not get the results. Do you understand? That? So mm -hmm. these are the things. These are our major challenges. If people can follow instruction, they can do it as we have instructed them to do. Of course, it doesn't take them anything. Do you understand? So most of the time, mm -hmm. my sister, so that's, that's what we have been facing. So wow. we have been facing yeah, and I think that many times that's where it is. That's where the rubber meets the road, actually. In most aspects mm -hmm. of life, that you find people who know what to do, but the challenge is getting them from just knowing to actually putting it into practice and, and doing so. And we hope that this program will encourage a lot People or a lot of people to take action to begin to do the things that are necessary to be done, especially on the preventive place, so that we don't even find ourselves in ailments. And if we do manage it so well that we can live optimally despite the conditions that um, may have occurred and all. Yeah. So I want to thank you once again for coming. But before we go, I want to ask you how do we get prime years? What is the modality for getting the book so that our viewer can? Go and check and see how to get it. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, Prime Year is in series, as I've said, and is for now. Prime Year is can only be obtained via ebook. So we have a okay. link that we can put it put it out for our viewers to see. So once they click on the link, it will take them straight away to 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 the platform where they can get the Prime Year. So and if they can get it now within the next twenty four hours or so, so they can get it very cheap. Well, because we are still ahead, we are still getting it out for, for people to see. We are just giving out for almost free for now. So if they can get it now, so they can get it cheap. So we are going to put it in form of volume. So we have volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, even to volume five. So, that, so it depends on the age group. So they have, so they can easily get in touch. So they click on, their, on the link and it will take them directly into the book. Okay, so we will need we will put that link on the description of this video so that as you watch the video, you can go straight to the description, click on the link and get the book. Remember, you have 24 hours to get it at a discounted price and exactly. then buy it, read it and begin your journey towards wellness. So we don't start treating ailments after they occur. We start our treatment of ailments before they occur. That's why this book is also talking about the early ages from zero to 19 years. This is the time that you, you'll be doing a lot of prevent, a prevention, building solid blocks, solid foundations for health that will continue to last by the grace of God through your lifetime. So it's, it's good yeah. for your children, it's good for your adolescents, it's good for you wherever you are. So get that book now, check the description, click on that link and get it now so that you get it at the discounted rate. Thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Solomon. We've been having this very interesting conversation with you. And sometimes when we have conversations like this, we don't want to go <laughs> because we are learning so much <laughs> And we're excited. Sure. But, but yeah. before you leave today, can, just give us your closing remarks. What would be your closing remarks to everybody in these stages of life and how they can move towards wellness and a better outlook uh, health-wise? Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for this. Uh, I would like to say this. Uh, like what we have been saying so far, our health is very important. The challenges that most of us are facing most time is because we don't take cognizance of our health right from this beginning. So if you take cognizance of your health and you keep your health in, the, in order, in fact, mo mo most of the time, 
most of the time, diseases come from experience. I must I must say diseases come, sicknesses come if they don't take the preventive measures. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you keep to preventive measures, I can assure you. I'm not saying that you are perfect. You are you are you are a super person that you cannot be sick. But the rate of sickness will be will, will be five apart. Do you understand? So let's get mm -hmm. to this prevention. Let's prevent our health. Let's protect our health. Eat good food. Eat balanced diets. No matter how hard the country may be, you, know, you can you can still eat a balanced diet in a little way, in a little form. Eat fruits, vegetables. Live well. Live healthy life. Don't smoke. Don't take alcohol. Those are the things that can destroy health. Do you understand? Don't live no, you know, on healthy living. And if you do those things, I can assure you, everybody will enjoy good health. And we're going to live healthfully to the adult and the old age group. Thank you very much. Love you all. Thank you so much, sir. Listener, I'm sure you have learned something very specific from this conversation today. And I want you to go to that link. Don't forget, click on that link. We have just 24 hours to get that book at a hugely discounted rate. Go get Prime Years in various volumes and begin your journey towards wellness, towards health and happiness. Because ultimately, we are not happy if we are sick. We are not happy if we are down. So get that book and begin your journey. And then stay tuned because we'll come up again with different professionals who will come to teach us about different things we need to know, tips to keep us healthy, to keep us in wellness. I am Nancy Oblete, your host, and I look forward to catching you again. Bye-bye. My Deep Sin Records.